Okay, so now we're going to talk about, this is something new to a lot of you probably, adding additional sheets to a sheet C definition. All sheet C definitions can be placed in a single DG and lib if you want. It's, you know, all of it, plan, 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 profile, plan, profile. And looks like I repeated plan, plan. Uh, profile, profile, and uh, cross sections. It does speed up the workspace load time. So if you don't do it for any other reason, I would do it for that one right there. So I think that you will uh, appreciate that. Uh, you do want to use the uh, backup process that we uh, talked about earlier. Okay, so don't don't forget about that. But uh, this video is just going to kind of show that uh, where we're going to take our file that we've been working on, our starter file, and then we're going to make a new copy of that. And again, remember, you want to restart when you do these two. So we're going to add a profile drawing uh, to the same one, right? And so we're going to go to our name boundary. And I'm just going to point out right now, I did make a mistake on purpose in here uh, because I want to show you later how we can delete and add. I got the wrong vertical exaggeration, okay? So that's okay. You don't have to worry about that one. I do typically like to pick a drawing C to set my fill in my dialogue, and then I'll set it back to none, and then put in my scale. I'll pick our profile here, and we'll set our start location. And then I usually lock that in. Once you do that, though, before you actually place that, you want to go back and put in your group name here. And so don't forget that. So I'll put in my group name. Let's call this profile 50 horizontal and 5 vertical, which if you do the math, it's supposed to be a vertical exaggeration of 10. Uh, but I had 5 in there on purpose. And so we're going to accept that and place it. And that's going to take us into our Create Drawing dialog. And here we're going to put in our names again. Some people will put in, you know, hey, this is, you know, drawing and this is seed or this is sheet name. You can put it how name these however you want to. We want to set our scale. And I purposely uh, also forgot the annotation group here. Set your discipline, your purpose, this profile, so it's going to be elevation view. And you would typically set your annotation group there. Again, this part's kind of the same. We'll grab our drawing model handle, move it over place our title block or if you want to attach it as a reference. If you're going to do that, I probably would recommend Merge to Master. Once you get them all done, turn off your custom line style, move our reference, resnap our corners. Again, this process is pretty much redundant for whatever you're doing. And we have that created now. So that's it for that one. And I'll typically go back to the multi-model view here. Okay, now, I told you I made a couple mistakes, right? I had the wrong vertical exaggeration for what I was trying to do. I forgot to attach my annotation. And so what do I do about that? Do I have to delete the file? I mean, is there a way I can just, you know, get rid of this one and start over? The answer is yes. Uh, this was a very nice thing once I was taught this that you can clean up what you just did and do it over again. And so we're going to learn how to do that. So in our name boundaries, we're going to start there. We realize that we made a mistake, so I'm going to go down to my profile groups, and I'm going to delete uh, the name boundary. And that will also delete, there's a note here, it's going to come up and tell you, hey, this is also going to delete your save view. So you want to make sure and do that. Say so yes. This is why renaming your groups is good because then you can tell what it is you want to, you know, get rid of. Now you want to go over to your models and get rid of the drawing and sheet model that coincide with those, that name boundary that you deleted or name boundaries if you're doing planner profile. So get rid of those, your drawing model and your sheet model. And typically save settings, compress the file, and now you're basically back where you were right now you can go in place that again okay so we'll jump back over and we're going to put that profile in again but this time we're going to get it right not all properties can be changed when a mistake is made for example the vertical exaggeration that i put in there we're not going to have the ability uh, to be able to um, change that vertical exaggeration defaults value so the only thing you can do there is do what i showed you is to delete that okay 
Now that you have uh, an invalid sheet that can be removed, re-adding the corrected sheet follows the same step. So this next video is going to be just what we did before, but this time we're going to get the answers right. Okay, so we'll come back in and we'll go through this one real quickly. We're just going to create this profile again. So we'll put in uh, the proper scale. Make sure we get our vertical exaggeration correct. And then just repeat the process again. That elevation datum spacing, I do make a comment on that. It, it's you know, typically, you know, try to, you know, follow the ma major vertical grid uh, differences there. So we'll put in our start station. We'll give it our group name, 15.5, because it's vertical exaggeration of 10. Go ahead and place that. And we'll correct our names. So this is going to be the save view name. This is going to be our drawing model name, default, and our sheet model name, default. And we set our scale here, so one inch is 50 feet. Make sure you do that for the drawing and the sheet model. And then make sure you have the proper annotation group selected. So profile grid, set your discipline and your purpose. Select OK to that. And then the rest of this will be the same. So we'll drag over our drawing model handle again, our drawing boundary handle. And I'll place our title block. And then snap our corners after we move our reference. So I'll go to references, turn off my custom scales, move it. Snap our corners. Our drawing boundary. And then go back to our multi-model. And then I usually compress the file. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.